right, next up, we have a very special guest from Nuclei. This is Daniel du Vanderwood, and he is going to talk about an announcement that he just made on Monday, uh, where Filecoin and Nuclei are teaming up for decentralized AI. Daniel, take it away. Well, I hope nobody is dead already by PowerPoint, uh, and I hope you're here for data. Um, I'm here to present to you our collaboration uh, with the Falcoin Foundation and to present to you um, Nuclei's vision on the future of data. So let us think really deeply nowadays. What is actually data? Everyone here has smart devices. Your smartphones, computers, smart watches, even a smart fridge. And I know for a fact that my fridge knows more about me than I do. And that's maybe a bit of a problem, right? At Nuclei, we say data is actually the new oxygen. Why? Because without it, companies cannot thrive and neither can they survive. Even when my phone is currently idle, it's producing a lot of data. All your devices are. You're writing on a computer, maybe some notes. All this data is stored somewhere, processed, analyzed, and yeah, then you're targeted with the next ad. And we all know the story about Zuckerberg, right? And nowadays, OpenAI. So we have a really big problem in the data ecosystem. Who owns the data? Well, not me anymore. It's usually the big corporates. So at Nuclei, we said it's really time for a change. We have a vision where data can be accessed freely by companies and by individuals to really innovate through the data. It's not hoarded anymore by big tech companies, but it's freely available when I want to share it. And each data point that I share, I should be fairly compensated, rewarded for this data. And to make this vision true, Nuclei built a decentralized data ecosystem. A lot of vague words, what does that really mean? It means that we make it more efficiently for companies to collaborate around data, share maybe some data privately through a supply chain, or for individuals to start really capitalizing on the data that they own. Take, for example, your smartwatch. Probably you guys are all having an Apple Watch. I'm still stuck with a Samsung. It doesn't really matter. This smartwatch is producing a lot of raw data. And if we would pool this data together, we get a very interesting data set. Probably a lot of you do some sports. Well, let's not talk about my data, but when we group this data together, scientists, companies can pretty much analyze uh, the data and get interesting insights. So that's not the only thing that Nuclei does, because pooling raw data together is pretty easy. We come in to do the heavy lifting. We want to make the data high quality, so it's ready for analysis, so it's ready for machine learning or other AI training. So let me walk you through the process. You share your raw data, be it your Apple Watch or my Samsung Watch. This data is then standardized in an easily accessible format. Now the data already becomes a little bit better to handle. But you don't know a lot about this data. So here, you need to bring in contextualization. And we add this contextualization through the metadata. So that means when I'm looking at a column of data, 
there's maybe a value there, right? Some numbers. So what do these numbers mean? Is it the distance I traveled? Is it the speed I'm running? I don't really know. But by providing extra context to this data, by deeply contextualizing, I get a better understanding, but also a machine learning model gets a better understanding by training on the data. Now, when this data is deeply contextualized and you get a better understanding, it also becomes suddenly easier to combine these data sets with each other. So, once that is done, you can start combining the data, but maybe there's one thing left to do. And this is where we use what we call reference data. And reference data is pretty much static data, sources of truth. Say, if I want to convert miles to kilometers, that's a reference data set. Or I want to uh, transform RGB colors to RAW, or ISO codes to country names. It doesn't really matter. This reference data can be used for really fast and quick transformations of certain data. Now, for example, the smartwatches, yours might be, if you're American, yours might be in miles. Mine is in kilometers. I need to transform this data in order to work with it. So this is what we also do. Now the data is really ready for innovation, for optimization, or with wor uh, optimization uh, work processes, or working with the latest AI models. So this is really where Nuclei comes in. But, yes, I didn't miss it, where is all this data stored? Well, when we are working with enterprises, they connect their storages to the Nuclei uh, um, infrastructure. However, data that you personally share should be stored somewhere securely and should be still owned by you. And this is where our collaboration with Filecoin comes in. Filecoin has the network where we can store massive amounts of data. We already stored our metadata there, and we are planning to expand this even further. So there's only one thing left, and that is we're a data ecosystem. And for that, today I want you to invite you to a datathon. And that's actually a hackathon focused on gathering data. And the first thing that we will focus on is gathering reference data. And we'll have some juicy bounties available, and it will be held in August. So if you want to know more, please check out our socials. If you now want to start already uploading data, testing our platform, go to our docs. You can also learn more about our layer one network and play around. If you have any questions, please feel free, contact me, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. <laughs>